Extra counselors are called into Madison County schools today to help students cope with the wreck that involved three school buses yesterday and injured dozens of students. And we're learning more about the backgrounds of the bus drivers behind the wheel during the crash. News 13's Mario Boone is live outside Madison Middle School. And Mario, these counselors were on hand for all of the students. That's right, and school leaders tell me it was a precaution to make sure that the students feel safe enough to return back here to Madison Middle School. Twisted metal, broken glass, and possibly a total loss. That's the result of a triple school bus crash in Madison County Wednesday that sent one bus plowing into a building. 24 hours later, News 13 was allowed to see the wreckage up close. 48 students and one bus driver were injured in the carnage. Many more students suffered mental scars, prompting school leaders to bring in extra counselors. The purpose of that is to make sure that students feel comfortable today. We want them to come back to uh, school in an environment that they feel safe in. School officials say it's not uncommon for students in a bus wreck to be afraid of getting back aboard. What we want to do is to try to get them to a place where they feel secure about the situation, where they feel like they're able to get back on a school bus again. Late Thursday, new information was released about the backgrounds of the drivers behind the wheel when the buses collided. State troopers say 57-year-old Kathy Price started the chain reaction crash. She's been charged with failure to decrease speed to avoid an accident. Another driver is 58 years old. She's been on the job seven years. And the last driver, 24 years old, and she's been on the job less than a year. Now, school leaders won't tell me if the drivers in this crash have been involved in other crashes in the past or if they are back on the job tonight, citing personnel confidentiality laws. Reporting live outside Madison Middle School in Marshall, I'm Mario Boone, News 13.